Hello friends, welcome to Selenium Point. My name is Herschel and I am going to teach you Selenium from scratch. So let's start with today's tutorial. It's about new tab handling using Selenium. Here is the tutorial. Let me explain you the scenario. You have to go to the test website. Then you have to log into the test website and you can see in earlier tutorial we have seen the window handling same as the tab handling so this product is mainly designed for tab handling once you click on the view it will open a new tab so you have to click to the add to cart button in a new tab in earlier tutorial we have seen the window handling this is a javascript window and this is simple new tab but the code is same because both are the windows so the way which we handle the window JavaScript window same it will use for the tab handling. So let's see uh, practically with the Java code or Selenium code. Open Eclipse, create a new class. Let's say tab handling. Okay, now log into the application and the code is here. I have just copy pasted the code to save time. We have already seen the in earlier tutorial the uh, explanation of the code. So it is just opening the Firefox, opening the website, and log into the web application. That means it will enter the this username password and hit the submit button. Now you will come to this page. So this code will come to this page. Now from here onward, we will handle the new tab. Okay. So uh, this is a parent window. Once you click on the this view button, it will open a new window. Anyhow, you have to switch back to the parent window. So let's get the handle of parent window. Parent window handle. Driver dot get window handle is a method. Get window handle, which has been provided by the Selenium, which will give you a current window handle. That's it. Just sys out this parent window handle. That's it. Now uh, switch to the now click on the view button. So these are the links get text path. We cannot use the link text because all the views are here. I mean all the links with the same name. So it will be a conflict. So get the unique identifier. It has no name, no ID. You can see here it has no name, no ID. So get the XPath. Same like the window tutorial we have seen earlier. So get the XPath. Identify the XPath using this tool, XPath Checker. So this view comes in product to view class. So let's start with the class. It has a div tag. So div inside the div. The property is at the rate class equal to product to view. This is just copy this product to view inside that the a tag. Then it is it is uniquely identified that particular link. Just copy the x path and click to the view driver dot find element by xpath dot click now it will click to the view now the uh, situation would be the two windows would be here I mean just click on the view it will open the back tab and two windows are here but the selenium has pointer associated with this page only so we have to switch to the back which is the next window so you can see the the cursor is still moving or the page is not yet open so we have to put the thread dot sleep or wait so let's for time being use the thread dot sleep or let's say four second now use the for each loop to iterate to the next window let's say child tab this is a child tab driver dot get window handles 
now this will give you all the open windows or all the open handles and it is a for loop and there are only two windows I mean parent window and child window so with the second iteration it will directly go to the child tab so just switch to child tab driver dot switch to window though it's a tab you have to use this command window because tab is as good as the window okay just for your confirmation let's print out the title of tab driver dot get title it will give you a title of switch the window just copy this code and paste above the for loop then you will get the title of parent window and here the window is already been switched so it will give a title of child window now you would be in this page so Okay, now you have to click to the add to cart button so uh, add to cart button has no ID no name so get the xpath for this again with our tool xpath checker it's a only one button so you can uniquely identify this just with the button type so this xpath would be enough driver dot find element by xpath this is xpath dot click okay once it switch to the next this loop switch to the next tab for switching it will take a time so put that dot slip it's not necessary but we are putting just for more concern put the three 3000 millisecond means 3 second delay ok now run the program it has opened the website ok it will log into the application yes it has logged in then it will click to the view button yes it has clicked it will wait for 3 second and it will click to the add to cart yes it has clicked to the add to cart button see the item went to the cart the bag went to the cart that's it so you can see here the parent window was this uh, the title for the parent window was this and the title for the child window was this so this is as good as window uh, you can watch this tutorial on website I will post the same video on the website so you will get the theory tutorial new tab handling over here the code also is available so keep watching the same videos please subscribe my channel so you will get the notification about the next videos uh, visit my website uh, i have already explained the main scenarios over here so thank you for watching the video thanks guys